hey guys and welcome to my weight loss update i think this is the third one and i'm pretty late today is already the eighth but i just been busy and going through some stuff as usual but um yeah what's been going on um for one month of march i probably only worked out the first two weeks and after that i just didn't go um i got sick didn't feel good and I got really tired and then from not going to the gym for a week I ended up not going the week after and it was my birthday month so I pretty much just ate the stuff that I really really want to eat and I pretty much overate um what else did I do yeah I ate everything that I love and ate out with friends co-workers what am I saying? Friends, as in friend, and mostly with Ava. Um, yeah, I've been out a lot, just hang out. I took two days off for my for my birthday, and then of course I got my foot tattoo, so I can't really work out. Um, however, I could have worked out at home, but I still didn't. I just really enjoyed it, taking a break away from the gym and just chilled with myself. But um. Yeah, I went on a scale this morning and shockingly, I don't know if my scale's cuckoo or not, but I really thought I gained extra more weight because I just felt a little bit more heavier than usually. Um, but yeah, I'm looking at my phone here because I'm feeling a little nervous right now. I don't know why. Again, every time I do a video a sit-in video I just get so nervous I feel like everyone's just staring at me but um yeah as of today um, I'm pretty much just going back and forth one pound up one pound down but shockingly I'm 203.2 um, I actually weighed myself twice this morning I went on early in the morning I didn't even poop usually I'll try to poop thinking you know it'll take some pounds off or a few ounces or whatever but it was like 204 point something which I will show you and then all of a sudden I just decided to go on again make sure I'm stepping correctly it's a you know 203.2 so I'm like okay at least I'm maintaining at least I didn't gain an extra like 10 pounds whatever um, yeah, eating habits still bad. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting stressed out. Work is just the usual same situation. And, you know, I'm an emotional eater. I'm not drinking water as much as I did the first month. Um, just been lazy. Like, work has been busy. So I feel like uh, I might not to get water. Sometimes I don't. And I just don't. And then... I go through the whole day and I probably just drank 132 ounce, which is a lot, but you know, I can drink more than that, but I didn't. Um, yeah, but my all my clothing fits the same, nothing has really changed. Um, but um, I got some really bad news, so some of you out there who you know who are overweight like me should be aware of this and then not necessarily overweight people have it skinny people have too like diabetes or whatever blood pressure and stuff but yeah i had to do a health um screening for my insurance and i knew this was going to creep up on me i already told myself that oh it's not happening to me my blood works always good but turns out Hey Ava, I got my blood work results in the mail a week ago and my triglycerides are really high. Um, my LDL cholesterol is good, HDL is fine too, but um, it's hard to explain. Like your triglycerides are common with people who are overweight and people who are older and it's basically the cause of it is because obviously overeating and then having a lot of fat in your belly and having a bigger waist which i do i don't know how many how many inches i am it was right here but i'm obese at the moment so i'm like oh no 
when I was overweight years ago, like 2007 to 9, the highest I was, which I have repeated over and over in my videos, I was like 217. I had thyroid issues, but not to the point where I needed to be meds, and I had alopecia, um, which you know caused a bald spot on the back and fatty liver. But once I lost all that weight and became came down to like 130, 140, it all cleared. But now that I'm older, I don't have any of those this time around, but now I'm having the cholesterol issue. And my blood pressure was high. So I'm pretty paranoid. So any of you guys out there, you know, let me be an example that overeating can trigger some of these health issues. And these issues can lead to heart disease. And go figure, I work for a cardiologist, so I'm extra paranoid. And now it's hitting me, but it's my fault for overeating and not caring and waiting this time around to start working out, which I have failed for this month. So I'm still not sure if I'm going to go to the gym tomorrow or not. It's already April. Ava. But um, we'll see. Um, maybe I wait another week and try to do something inside the house. Um, Cambodian New Year's is this weekend, so there will be food. But um. I am going to start changing some stuff in my diet. I'm trying not to eat too much meat. I feel like I don't even eat that much meat, but my parents do use a lot of beef. We, we eat everything, chicken, pork, fish. But the thing is, you know, yes, honey, I am overeating. But anyway, I'm trying to stay away from rice as of tomorrow and so forth. Probably not during Cambodian New Year's because, you know, um, oh, Ava's distracting me. I went to Sam's Club yesterday and I went back old school, got some Slim Fast. You want to sit mama? Okay, Ava. Whoa. Uh, say hi. So, I went to Slim, <laughs> I went to Sam's Club, got a whole pack of Slim fast Yo. chocolate flavored drink, so I'm planning on just having that for breakfast and lunch and having a sensible snack yeah. and dinner and see what happens. And um, hopefully, I'll be back on track to the gym again. The weather's still kind of cold, so it's not too hot yet, so I shouldn't have any excuse not to go to the gym if the weather's bad or not. So, <sighs> yeah, I just don't know what else to say. Like, I really failed, but um, hi. <sighs> However, when I got my health screening, my weight was like 210 or 207 or something. I'm like, what in the world? But I had to have shoes on, but I had clo clothing on and stuff, so I don't know. But it just makes me feel like, ugh. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. So, nothing has changed with my body, as you guys saw, or maybe now, or in the first video. I don't know. But, and I. I'm even lazy posting up videos, like I do vlogs every week, but I'm like, oh. <sighs> Yeah, and I'm starting to think, like, maybe that's why I'm always having these palpitations and stuff, like being heavy, being overweight and whatever, but, yeah, let's see what this month and May hold, so, um, again, thank you guys for supporting me, but this Mama? is something for me to look Mama? back on, but, um, I really Mama? want, I really need to... Have some changes <laughs> at least by August because again I'm going to Cambodia and I don't want to go to Cambodia looking like this. So I need to cut down a lot of food items, drinking more water, and especially working out and no eating out. Yeah, I've been like overeating because of my birthday, but my birthday is over. I shouldn't have that issue. Um, I did have in food to with a friend, and I shouldn't go out eating again ever because. I pretty much ate the whole city of Columbus. I don't know. I really don't know what else to say. So, if anyone else have any, any suggestions out there, please let me know. Um, but don't be mean. I actually thought about looking into diet pills, but I'm scared. Like I told myself, I would never try any diet pill ever. In the past, I tried something called Adipax, which helped a lot, but I'm even scared of that, but it really worked. Um, and from GNC because as you get older, your metabolism levels, or you know, it's very hard. 
very hard. The older you get, the harder it is. Your metabolism slows down and uh, um, if you guys know anything safe or whatever, let me know. I'm always up for those, you no know, detox um, tea type things and whatnot. So, alright, I'm just trying to make this video as long as possible. But um, yeah, I'm going to stop now. So, thank you to all your subscribers and wish me good luck next time. So, I feel like the last three months, no, no changes. This is like a pathetic and sad. Alright, bye bye.